Welcome back. It's four o'clock in the... Well, five past four in the morning here on Winchester News Online. The general election 2010, the South decides. It certainly is being decided. We're still waiting upon the big one as Winchester will be announced, hopefully, by about five o'clock tonight. Now Stay let's join our roving reporters for a roundup of all the latest that's going on. Labour down 15 and a half percent. They lost Hastings and Riot to the Tories. Three and a half percent swing to Miss Amber Rudd there. Well, two massive gains in the last few minutes, as you've heard. It's a gain over Crawley for the Tories and Romsey and Southampton North. Sandra Gidley, the uh, candidate for the Liberal Democrats, she's been the MP there for over a decade, losing out to Caroline Noakes. They are two huge wins for the Tories. We're also more development as the results continue to roll in at a faster pace. David Miliband has called for a coalition with the Lib, De Lib Dems. There hasn't been any Liberal response so far. Defeated Lib Dem candidate. What a terrible night it has been for the BMPs. Now, they thought they had a lot of momentum, but it turns out they didn't. After question time and Nick Griffin on there, and after they won the European seat and doubling their votes, they haven't won anything. Now, they have Burnley, Stoke and Barking. They were the three key areas and uh, main constituencies where they could have at least just got something, but they've blown it. Right then, a bit of breaking news for you. Winchester News Online sources say that the Winchester constituency will be... A conservative gain. There I say, I would like to repeat. This is sources repeating what they have seen with their own eyes. This is the very strong rumour going around the River Park Leisure Centre down in Winchester City Centre is that the Conservatives have gained Winchester. Well, anyway, now, we could head over now and catch up with the crews out in the field. Kayleigh, what you got for me? I'm joined by Luke in Southampton. Now, it's not long to go now, Luke. How are things looking? Well, we seem to have uh, some activity here. The, uh, the main uh, organiser has gathered the uh, constituents for Southampton Test. Um, we're expecting a result in the next few minutes. What it looks like is it's, a, it's an incredibly close race between the Labour and the Conservative parties. The local, um, candid the local candidates have gone to the front of the stage and they're checking for doubtful votes, to votes which may be misconstrued or votes which have come across in two separate boxes. Um, that means the candidates... Yes, um, we've just heard they're going to do a recount, essentially, uh, until the, uh, the people are satisfied. We were talking about in Brighton that the Greens are looking to pick up the victory there with Caroline Lucas. So uh, let's just have a look and see how much of an issue that climate change will be in this year's general election. Green candidate believes tough times are ahead. Yeah. Enormous task ahead of us to get remotely uh, better, better, uh, better position. Let's pass over to the hub of activity in the newsroom, Tom. And in fact, just as I say that, uh, another one of my home constituency, Swindon North, has come in again as a Conservative gain over Labour, and Cornwall South East has just come in as a Conservative gain. And that takes the total Conservative seats at the moment to 218. In a minute, Claire, uh, you did a bit of a presenting stint earlier on. You've now joined on the red sofa. Very nice to have you here. Basingstoke, as expected, pretty much Conservative hold. I contacted Absolutely. the Labour candidate who had actually uh, just come out of hospital, so I don't know how much campaigning she was actually able to do. Um, but I, uh, as, as I understand, it is a, a naturally Conservative area. So, um... Close, the results are being read out at the moment, Tom. Jackie Smith, is she still there? I'm afraid to announce, Graham, that she's not. This is an absolutely massive scout for the Conservatives. Jackie Smith is no longer head honcho in Redditch. It's an absolutely massive, massive result for the Conservatives, this one. Uh, the National Swing now 5.1% in favour of Conservative to Labour. Conservative share of the vote at the moment, 36.1%. 41 seats the Conservatives again. The Labour have lost 38, Liberal Democrats have lost two.